Well, it's great to, to be with all of you, and I wish I could stay long enough to hear the panel. I'm sure they're going to have some great insight that maybe somebody can send me a text. Troy, send me a text. Tell me what we're going to be talking yeah. about <laughs> so I know, what to, I know what to look forward to. Um, I love this quote. Wilbur Wright once said, if giving a young man advice about how he might succeed in life, I'll say a young woman and how she might succeed in life, uh, I would say to her, pick out a good father and a mother, which we all know we have no control over, and begin life in Ohio. And, and that's absolutely true, right? Begin life in Ohio. Uh, Ohio is where I was born and, and where I have lived my entire life. And I think that statement, that quote, truly represents all of the opportunity that we have here in Ohio to recognize our own American dream. Uh, there's no doubt that we have faced some challenges along the way. Um, we certainly had a significant challenge coming into office in 2011, but I can tell you from my perspective what I've tried to do the last 15 years, uh, first as a state representative and then as your auditor and today as your lieutenant governor, um, my responsibility is to work to remake Ohio a great place for all of us to experience our own opportunity. Uh, Mike mentioned CSI. It is, uh, not, it is unique. It is not only first in the country, uh, to the best of my knowledge, it is the only uh, regulatory reform initiative like it in the country. Um, we've had some interest from some other states call us and ask us what it's all about, um, and we hope that and would encourage them to look at how they can do regulatory reform in their state. Uh, very simply, what we do is we get stakeholders at the table to participate in the regulatory making process. Uh, I had a great conversation with Mike before we walked in today, and um, what I'd like to say is, our process and then the ultimate outcome of the regulation is only as good as those involved in the process. And so I really, really encourage industry to be a part of the rulemaking process so that we are confident we had a great process, but the best outcome we could potentially get. Uh, we won't always promise that we're all going to agree at the end of the day that everything um, is exactly what everybody wanted, um, but we will agree, and what I will commit to you through my involvement at CSI is you will have a seat at the table, and you will get to participate in the, pro the process. I, I think in a crowd like this, certainly um, I don't have to tell you how important the shale industry is to the state of Ohio. I have been actively involved um, from the beginning, um, first from a regulatory perspective, um, but also I signed the tri-state agreement with West Virginia and Pennsylvania uh, that I think recognizes that this industry is not just a state industry, and our challenges are not just state challenges, um, but it's an opportunity for our entire region. It's an opportunity, but we also recognize that some of the challenges that we face are regional challenges as well. My goal, of course, in this tri-state region is that not only does the, um, the oil and the gas and the shale not recognize state boundaries, it would sure be nice if we could have some cooperation with our neighbors to be able to say that we recognize in the, the, the way that we do business um, should not recognize those state boundaries. I, there certainly are some challenges around that, um, but we have a great opportunity, not just in the state of Ohio, but in this entire region and to the extent that we can cooperate and work together, I think it's going to be better not only for Ohio as a state for our citizens, but I'd hope and like to think that it's also going to be better for the industry as well. Um, you know as, as well as I do, the eastern part of our state, some of the counties that have faced the most significant challenges in the last 20 or 30 years have reaped the most benefits um, from this industry because that's where the shale play is. Um, and so it's great for Appalachia, it's great for southeastern Ohio, it's great for the families who live there to experience this opportunity. And I think from a state perspective, our responsibility is to make sure that we aren't the roadblock um, to those opportunities, but yet we are, are a partner with you in achieving the success that we know can come um, from this particular industry. When you look at PTT Chemical, PPT, PTT Chemical is a name familiar to all of you and um, what they're looking at putting their cracker plant in Southeast Ohio and Belmont County. 
that certainly is a game changer um, from a lot of different perspectives for Southeast Ohio, for the entire state, and in fact for our march or our goal towards energy independence. We had a great conversation. Mike asked me the question about the energy conference that we held several years ago and really what my perspective was as we move forward. And I think that that energy conference was a good place to start in the conversation that took place. Um, this industry has evolved in a pretty significant way since 2011. And I think that we now recognize our, our future opportunities uh, in a different way than we knew even then. And so what I hope my goal is and what I hope our goal is that as we move forward, we, we look for all of the opportunities to take advantage of the great natural resource that is there. Um, Ohio has always been a great manufacturing state. One of our advantages has been low energy prices. Of course, we're centrally located and we have fresh water. But as I think about what our future opportunity is with the shale play, um, to continue to take advantage of and grow that manufacturing base because of low cost energy. And I'd like to think about how we move forward and be able to attract that more manufacturing and, in, and industry closer to the, app, it, to the Appalachian where we know this resource is so rich. I don't want to under, understate how important this interest industry has been to Ohio for the last five years. Um, and I certainly don't want to underestimate or understate how important this industry is to the future economic prosperity of the state of Ohio. And I'm optimistic that um, in my conversations today with Mike and others, um, my participation in the tri-state um, shale conference of, of just a few weeks ago and having conversations with industry there, um, we have a great resource in our state, in Ohio. We have a great opportunity, and I can commit to you that I want to be able to take advantage of this for all of Ohio's citizens. One of the things that we announced um, when I was in uh, Pennsylvania and Pittsburgh at the Tri-State Shale Conference was a report that was released um, while we were there by the U.S. Chamber that highlighted the positive impact of your industry um, and how it boosts our economy here in Ohio. Uh, and what they did is they kind of looked at it from a neg the, in the negative form is what, what would the economy look like or what would the economic impact be if your industry didn't exist. And we, of course, specifically what we were interested in what Ohio would look like. And I think that what the report showed was what we already knew, but it was actually nice to see it um, put it on a piece of paper in numbers. And so what they concluded is without the presence of the economic shot of adrenaline and lower residential and industrial energy prices, the report estimates that $9.9 .9 billion in Ohio GDP would not have been generated. That's Ohio alone. $5.8 billion in labor income would have been lost and 114,500 jobs would not have been created. So I think those numbers speak for themselves. You are significant, you are important, and you are a great economic, future economic opportunity uh, for the state of Ohio. So I appreciate the opportunity to spend a little bit of time with you this morning and to just recommit to you um, that we will, we can and we will take advantage of this economic opportunity in the, in the way that it benefits all of Ohio's citizens. And part of that, obviously, is your industry success as well. So thank you for the invitation to join you. I always uh, look forward to seeing many of you who I've known for some time and, of course, always look forward to, to making new friends. I wish I could stay for the panel. I'm sure you're going to say very important things that I need to hear. Um, but I'm going to finish my lunch and then I need to get out of here. I'm headed to Dayton. But Mike, thank you for hosting this. And obviously the work that you guys are doing is certainly very important to the state of Ohio. Thank you. <laughs>